If you've ever spent time adjusting a carburetor, you know that there's a general rule of thumb for each adjustment screw. Well, a spray gun is not that much different. And today I'd like to go over some general rules for adjusting a spray gun so that you could be successful with any primer, any paint, any sealer, and using any spray gun, no matter what the instructions say. Every spray gun has basically three adjustments. A pattern adjustment, fluid adjustment, and air pressure adjustment. At the very top is the pattern adjustment. All the way in one direction, it's very sharp or pointy. All the way in the other direction, it's a wide pattern. So if you put it all the way to the pointy pattern, you're going to have this, and you're going to end up probably running the paint. On the other hand, if you open it all the way up, you get a wide pattern, and your paint job is probably going to end up being very dry. So you want it somewhere in between something like this or something like this or possibly a little bit wider. So the general rule of thumb is too far one way it's too pointy and you get runs. Too far the other way it's too wide and you get dry. So you want it somewhere in between so your paint flows very nicely and you get a nice wet even coat. The next adjustment knob is the fluid control adjustment knob. If you turn it out, you get more fluid. If you turn it in, you get less fluid. The only time that I turn it in to get less fluid is when I'm doing a drop coat with metallics or spraying silver. So that I can do a drop coat or a mist coat, high pressure and low volume so that the metallic sort of evens out. Otherwise, I have it out for maximum amount of fluid. The last adjustment knob is the air pressure control knob. The general rule of thumb for air pressure, no matter what paint you're spraying, no matter what the instructions say, is this. Too much air pressure and you're going to have a lot of overspray and possibly a dry coat too little air pressure and you're not going to be dumping enough paint. You want it somewhere in between so that you're spraying the most amount of paint with the least amount of overspray. So again, your air pressure should be somewhere in between so that you get the most volume of paint with the least amount of overspray. And that's what this control knob does. In review, you have a pattern adjustment, fluid adjustment, and air pressure adjustment. And it's very good to know the general rules for adjusting each of these. Because every situation is different and you're going to have to adjust these on the fly. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the general rules for adjusting a spray gun. And if you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.